Okay. Give me just a second. Let's see if I can rotate this. Can rotate. Orientation is locked. Okay. So I guess it's gonna go like this then. <laughs> now I'm gonna try to pull it up here. The YouTube one takes me a little bit longer, guys. Why not? I'm working on it. There we go. All right, can somebody make a comment so I make sure comments are working and everything? Oh, Linda, yep. We got comments. Hi, Linda. Let's see where... Oh, I'm pretty behind on the... Okay, so if I am... I'm going to tilt it just a little bit back that way. So we're good there, I guess. And I am live, so I can I can answer questions and stuff. I can see the screen. I know some of you are from the Facebooks. But we might have people that just live. <laughs> That's cool, Linda. I know my... My YouTube channel live stuff isn't as robust, but I figure I'd hit hit another crowd with it.
<laughs> Hi, dude. These are these are for uh, a charity that we do called Cups for a Cause. And this uh, this year's Cups for Causes. Sir uh, it's Francis House, which is a uh, organization that deals with hospice and helping people that either don't have good enough good enough insurance, or their families need to come in and they need a place to stay. They um, help with all of that. Nope, it's um, it's a hundred dollars for a set of cups and a wonderful evening, um, at a fantastic local bar. Um, and, you know, dude, dude, what's your name? So I don't have to say dude. <laughs> um, I have found that getting a good app for the phone, and it might cost you a buck to troll Craigslist and give you an alert anytime a pottery wheel comes up is one of the better things to do because if a pottery wheel comes up in a decent decent price it's usually gone in the first hour or so so it's uh it's good to have the app I've gotten mo I don't think I've bought a wheel for over two hundred dollars and I've gotten a lot of wheels and I'll usually take them refurbish them and then sell them again Or collect them if it's a wheel that I like. They do workshops and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know the name of it. Mine might be like Craigslist Sniper or, or Watch Craigslist or something. And then it, it gives you parameters too. Like you can do it for a few areas. So I've got mine going out like to 200 miles from where I am. But it takes a little bit. And if you're good at fixing stuff, you can usually get one that's uh, cheap and just needs work. Or you just need earplugs. A lot of the times the really cheap ones are just loud. Um, I was just given one not too long ago that that is uh, it's too loud to use. <laughs> it really is. It's it sounds like somebody put gravel in it. It's just crunching away. <laughs> Are you on Facebook, guy? Um, usually it's bearings in the motor. Um, normally if it's bearings in the wheel head, people can, uh, can replace them themselves. Wheel, wheel bearings, or bearings in the motor are a lot harder. Um, there's a group called Clay Buddies. I don't know if you're a part of it. But sometimes used wheels come up on Clay Buddies, and there's another group called Potter's Attic. And they have used equipment that comes up too. That's where I got my pug mill. Okay, so that's the base colors on that one. I'm just going to keep on ripping on here. So I got Potter's Attic and Clay Buddies.
Very good. Hopefully that'll help you find them a little quicker. Clay Buddies, you might want to uh, adjust your, your settings so you're not getting every notification because it's a very active group. But you probably want to put your one for the Potter's Attic up all the way so that if anything comes up, you get an alert. Because, <laughs> you know, just like everything else, if it's a good wheel for a good price, it's going to go right away. Okay, so there I am, I'll do the, the blacks.
Well, I'll do, I do things to cheat. So when I do this one, I'll, I'll talk about what I'm doing, I guess. So part of it is that I'm bracing my arms on the table so I'm not going from the shoulder as much as I can. And I'll typically, if you see I'm holding the brush pretty close to the furl, um, and I'll twist it. I usually hold it close to the furl so it's small. And I kind of hold it straight up and down. When I do the bottom edge and the top edge, I do another thing using my finger. You can see my finger's dusty from using it as a, as a slide. These will be gas fired. Hi Maggie, uh, these are um, Amico Velvet Series. The black is the LUG Series. I'm trying not to be too neat with these either. I don't mind it being a little messy because of what's going to happen to them later. So for this bottom here, you'll see I'll put my finger and I'll put that finger so that I'm acting as a guide. So I can pretty much use it as a little way to a... Um, it's not actually thinned, it's kind of thickened. It's using the right pressure, rotating the brush a little bit as I go, so it keeps it to a point as I squish it down more. Fingerprints don't matter. Mm, say two done. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, it's a like compass. Okay, next ones. Let's do. Let's see. What's this one? So I don't think that one matches this. Don't match this one. Sort of matches that one. I'm trying to find two that match so that they go together. These two match, right? Close enough. And for the color parts, um, it looks like I have a nice, fast, steady hand. But really, I don't know if you can see, the edges that I have have a little bit of a lip. When I, I don't carve them, I actually displace. So I put a little tool and it pushes the edges open. I wipe it with a sponge so it's not sharp, but the edge gives me a line to move color up to that makes it hard to go over it. If I do go over it, it's not that big of a deal because I'm gonna end up putting the black line over it too, but it does make it a little faster. That's the uh, pro tip for the night. Are you guys watching on a computer or on a uh, mobile device? I'm wondering how 
this stuff works in terms of being able to see the whole screen. Would it be better if I was in a vertical or horizontal mode, I guess? Like Periscope, Facebook Live, all those are better as like portrait. Computer, computer. Now, Bevan Guy, did you guys, are you guys subscribed and you got an alert? I don't, see, I don't know how much, I don't know how the YouTube thing works here. I know Facebook, I got Facebook down, I got Periscope down. Oh, so you, you came from Clay Buddies. Yep. Are you a Clay person guy? <laughs> Linda got an alert. <laughs> Some yellow on here. <laughs> A makerspace whereabouts? <laughs> That's a good deal. You don't need a wheel. Better be a good red, you know? The red's the only one that seems still thin. Well, being part of Clay Buddies will be good. You'll get to hear all the health and safety stuff about working at home. <laughs>
so that you do it nice and safe. Oh, I don't even know how to do a super chat. <laughs> oh, don't worry. The I mean, I try not to promote stuff. I mean, I guess charity is a little bit different. But that is a good suggestion. See, that's stuff I don't know. Super chats. <laughs> Okay, so you got you got some safety procedures in place already. I got kicked out of a house we were leasing because I had a respirator and fire brick. <laughs> they thought for sure I was uh I was gonna blow their place up. I didn't even have the respirator on, it was just in the room. It did have a raccoon mask and all that stuff too. That was... And tongs and... I might have been doing a raccoon firing at the time. Um, <laughs> you forged two. Uh, the this is recl. No, this is B-Mix wood. Um, yeah, this is actually B-Mix wood. It's virgin clay. A lot of the times I use Reclaim, which is just a big mix of a bunch of stuff. Well, we, <laughs> that was the catalyst. We actually got totally kicked out because the gentleman that was leasing us the house was kind of a misogynist. And my wife was home alone. And the lease said, you know, for him to enter the house, he needed to give 24 hours notice. And he showed up. Walked right in the house, and Brenda was, I don't know, eating lunch or something, and he was like, I need to talk to you. And Brenda's like, you can call and make an appointment for tomorrow. And he wouldn't leave. And he started screaming at her, so she called the cops. <laughs> and that's probably why we got kicked out. And it was a very nice female cop that showed up. Um, nope, these will not be clear glaze. They're going to be left, um, the raw underglaze. But fired to cone 10, they gloss up themselves. And I'm going to put some stain on them. And that stain has enough flux in it that it, it'll make sure that all these get enough of a, uh, glassiness to them that they're durable. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it was okay. We moved into an, a great apartment after that, and uh, the apartment was so much less work that I was able to really put a lot of time into into this. Um, I had just gotten out of college, and the house that we were staying is I had to take care of the yard. I mean, I did a lot for the house. Um, it, it took him six years to sell it he wanted too much for it so it was good to know that it sat six years and he was paying taxes on it and he couldn't sell it that's like where that was the bad juju
We just drove by it the other day. Over there for an appointment. We are seeing if our old neighbors were still there. And they weren't home. But we could tell they were still there. It was, it's all good. So, what's P. Garum? What's your name? And are you on Facebook at all? Because that's kind of where I've moved most of my most of my uh, stuff. That's where I seem to participate the most now. Those can get stripes. Um, they are pretty close, but I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna stain them all up, so they're just gonna be dirty. Here, I got, I got an example. One second. I gotta wash it off. It's gonna be a little glossy because it's wet now, but no, I got a towel. You get an idea what these are gonna look like at least. Here, so um, I'm not using that dark blue anymore because it was just too dark. But this is, and that's the dark green which I'm not using yet. But this is the red and the light blue. And I stain it and then I wipe off the stain so it gives like a more glowing effect than just straight block color. I try to grungeify it some. That's the iron, the iron wash stain that really makes it shiny, crunchy. Oh, it's just a cup. It has no handle. Yep, on Facebook, um, there's a group called Clay Buddies that I'm one of the administrators of. And uh, it's a great group for, for online participation. We're up to about 22,000 members with about 17,000 monthly active users um, which is which is phenomenal <laughs> to have that many people and to have them work so well together we, we run a pretty tight ship I'm gonna go like this. That way I don't mess it up. <laughs> Does your pottery guild not get along? Because we have a local guild that they don't always get along so well. We actually started another group because of it. Oh, small, yeah. Small groups are the way to go. Especially in person groups. <laughs> don't 
There's no politics, no religion, no potters trying to sell potters pots. It's like a, it's like a nice online bar, you know? Alright, so now I'm going to go to this one. This takes forever. Okay, I think I'm going to be able to do a couple easy ones and then I got to get to bed. I got a workshop tomorrow. <laughs> I'll do more of the lighter colors, I guess. Now my computer, the image looks a little grainy. Is it a little grainy for you guys or is it just my internets? Or my computer?
Oh, this is my computer then. I should show you an image of it. It looks like I'm on Minecraft or something. Um, next, well, the next wood firing is in November. The gas firing, I gotta get done soon. It might have to be a light one. Um, that'll be probably Wednesday or Thursday next week, because these have got to be out. Because Cups for Cause is on Friday. Nothing like pushing it.
Can't believe I only did six tonight. There we go. That's it. Pick it up. So don't, don't be afraid to ask the questions. It's almost done. I can totally clean bottles and answer questions. I didn't even use the green. Wah, wah. Um, well, I started in 99, so I think 18 years, 19 years, 18 years. I'm not very good at math. 19, 19 years? Um, yeah, I use a, pretty much a clear. Um, it's got a little bit of iron in it. When it's more reduction, it goes blue. When it's less, it goes kind of a, uh, like a, a greeny yellow. But this is all I do. Well, I pickle. I mean, I don't... I don't do much else anymore. This is all I want to do. This is like my job and my hobby. My... My... Hob... My hobby? My hobby? My jobby? My jobby? This <laughs> season. I don't know if I'm seasoned. Feels like it just started still. Linda, speaking of um, used wheels, um, I have uh, one of the wheels I used to use in college because nobody else liked it, so it was always my it was always available. Um, I just got reunited with it. Uh, it was sold at auction, and the guy who bought it um, had it, used it for five, six years, and is going to be moving to Florida permanently. So his studio up here, he was going to sell off all this stuff, and uh, he found I was looking for wheels and things, and he said, hey, Tim, um, do you want to just have all this stuff? <laughs> so he gave me... He gave me the old wheel I used to use in college. That's the one that's too loud to use. <laughs> it's so bad. Dude, that's why nobody liked it in college. And then another, you know, add another 12 years to it. And Well, that's it, guys. Um... Yeah, so for those people that are into clay, clay buddies, I mean, if, if, if you're on the Facebooks as well, you should check out clay buddies. Um, I do a lot on there. Um, hey, Carol. <laughs> Can't remember the Wheel of Fortune words were on it. I know, I know, I know the one. Um, I don't remember the words. Whether it's better to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous miss wheels of fortune. <laughs> it's a, um, you know, I took one motor apart and it wasn't even the bearings that were bad. It was some of the magnets from the outside. It must have been hit or something. 
had come loose. And after that, I was just, I just don't want to deal with them. <laughs> I just want to deal with them. But, if it's that easy, I like taking things apart. If there's no, there's no, I mean, if you, bearings are pretty cheap, and if it's already broken then, right? Oh, I know it wouldn't be all those words. Was it misfortune? Would that have been it? Billy's misfortune? Did you know and you're just asking? Because <laughs> uh, I don't remember. Well, guys. Yeah, I made a... <laughs> <laughs> I made a wheel of fortune on a cup. It had, it had arrows on the bottom, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'll probably be on tomorrow if I'm not too beat from the workshop. Because um, I've got to decorate a whole other bin of cups and another, I don't know, six sets that are on the table. <laughs> okay. Night, guys. If I figure out how to stop it, how do I make it stop? Ooh, there it goes.